Hello and welcome. Thanks for joining us. The show brings you game one of a huge four-game weekend set. It's the Los Angeles Dodgers and the Chicago Cubs. With my partner Chris Singleton, I'm John Shambi. We're in store for a major league debut in this one, Singy. It remains to be seen what kind of career he'll have, but here's step one, and there's a lot of hope and optimism around him. This organization thinks he can be an impact player. And from what I've seen and heard from people that follow prospects really closely, I do too. We may not see him light the league on fire right from the start as there's usually a learning curve, but I think he has the skill set to be successful at this level for a long time. It's a tough veteran lineup on the other side, but I'm excited to see what this rookie can do in this one. Okay, all set to go. And now the first baseman, Freddie Freeman. Freddie. Here comes a pitch. Lifted in the air, right field. Suzuki has a beat on it. Puts the squeeze on that one. And there's one down. Here's Shohei Otani. Pretty amazing athlete. This he is power and speed, quite a threat. I mean, you're talking about someone that could steal your bag and go deep. Bo Jackson, anyone? And the righty deals. He's like Mike Trout. You figure whatever you put in his hand, whether it's a bat, whether it's a golf club, whether it's a basketball, he can do it and get it done. And a rare talent, so much fun to watch. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. One down, base is empty. Swing, and that ball smashed on a line. Makes the catch for the out. On the north side of Chicago, John Chambi and Chris Singleton. Here's Mookie Betts. A swing and a miss, and that's strike one. Well, as a hitter, you're hoping that the command on that sinker doesn't come until later in the ball game. But if that's how it's going to be all day, it's going to be a tough one for the offense. In the air, left field. Bellinger drifts towards it. He's got it, and that'll end the inning. Nothing doing for the Dodgers here. Now the Cubbies will get their first crack. No score. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Back here at the ballpark, and on the mound in this one, Shohei Otani. Yeah, he battled through seven innings last time out. He pitched well enough to get the win thanks to that offense. He'll look to turn in another quality start in this one. So up now for Chicago, Nico Horner. We talk about guys with good speed, and definitely he has the defensive side that I think the speed factors in the most. And the pitch. Down the line towards the corner. Betts makes the catch and a quick out number one. Batting second, the right fielder. Seiya. And now here is Seiya Suzuki. Well, he gets to balls that get by and hit it, thinks that they've got a base hit or they may have extra bases, and he just takes it away. Dives, but it kicks off his glove. And he'll be safe at first. Well, that's right there. He got a pitch that he knew he could handle, allowed himself to stay back just a tad bit longer, and he hit the ball on the screws. Cody Bellinger, the next to hit, takes ball one. Good power. Not great in the OBP department. Pretty good pitch there to take a rip at. He wants to get his arms extended. He likes the ball away from him a little bit, just not able to square it up. The 2 1. Swing and a miss. So, what are the skills you look for that make a really good defensive third baseman that elite? Well, Boog, one of the things I think about immediately are just the feet. Does he have good feet? Is he able to quickly react? And when you have good feet, you've got soft hands. And soft hand defenders are able to make tough plays look easy. 
Christopher Morrell, the next Cub to hit. Homered in the ball game yesterday afternoon. First pitch, just misses. Swing and a miss. Slider right there. At the dish, looking to lift the ball in the air in this spot. Anything but the inning, inning double play, boo. Little trouble with this one behind the plate, but no advance from the runners. Swings and misses. Two and two now. Hitter's got some good opposite field power. What I like about something being hit to the right side into the outfield is that the base runner at second has a very good read and can determine whether or not he can score on that base hit. Next offering is foul back. The healthy cut, tough pitch at 98, but a really good pass at the ball. The 2-2 two -two down. Ground ball up the middle. There's one, not in time at first. It's a fielder's choice. Good late bite on that slider. Got the hitter out in front, rolled over on it. Exactly what it was supposed to do. Now batting Jamer Candelario. There's the strike. The pitch. Swing and a foul over the screen and back out of play. And here it comes. Tried to check his swing. Appeal to third. Ah, and he punches him out. He went around. Sometimes he wears the emotion on the sleeve, but that's okay as long as he's getting results. And right there, thrilled with the punch out to get out of a jam. Back here at the friendly confines. New inning getting started. J.D. Martinez stands in. He's a guy who does it all with the lack of contact in today's game. This guy hits for contact, so he delivers average, but there's on base and slugging, too. The wind and the pitch. That one lifted to left. Bellinger drifts towards it. And out number one on the grab. Almost a loud start to the inning on that first pitch. Man, he's going to want that one back, no doubt. And first offering is fouled off. Early in the count, you have to be real careful because of that power. But then if this hitter gets a strike or two on him, he's still very comfortable. And because he has the ability to get the barrel to the baseball, he's a threat deep into the count as well. The wind of the pitch. Gets a piece, and it stays 0-2. Keeps the at-bat going with a foul ball. Left-hand batter waits. Muncie hits one in the air. Alcantara on his way over. Brings it in with a nice running grab. And there are two outs. The batter now will be Will Smith. Here's a guy who's been struggling so far this year. It's only late April, but still hoping he'll turn it around soon. Lined in the left center, base hit. First pitch swing in, went up there with a the plan to be aggressive. So much of good hitting is finding holes in the defense. That's why you're always thinking line drive into the gap. Those kinds of swings really boost your confidence. Foul ball. Smith off of first with two away. Now this is in the air down the line. Bellinger makes the grab. And that ends the inning. One left for L.A. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Welcome back. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. Here's the veteran shortstop, Dansby Swanson. Swing and a miss. And that is strike one. Otani, the former MVP, he features a slider, a four-seamer, a splitter, a cutter, and he occasionally uses a curve. Swings through it for the K. 
Slider got him for strike three. That was a well-executed slider away for the strikeout right there. First two pitches filled up the zone and got him ahead 0-2 in the count. And at that point, you can start expanding the zone as a pitcher. He made him chase and got the quick strikeout. Now it's Jan Gomes. That's in there. 0-1. Nothing, nothing here in the bottom of the second. Jan Gomes waits and downstairs. It's a good take. Fouls it off, still one and two. You see how the catcher wanted that pitch up and in. Wanted to try to tie him up. That's the one thing we're seeing, that high fastball. You have to get it up there because of how hitters have changed their swings. Steps on first for the out. And here's the first baseman, Matt Mervis. Didn't play in the day game yesterday, so he should be fresh for this one. That one's in there, 0-1. And, and there's a ball. 1-0. And he hits a ground ball right side. Throw on to Freeman, and the Cubs go 1-2-3. Three. three up, three down for the Cubs. We'll move to the third. Here at Wrigley Field. Well, here we go. Top of the third scoreless game. Here's the second baseman, Michael Bush. And first offering is fouled off. <laughs> On the ground, right side. One up, one down. Now here's Jake Marisnik. Marisnik measures six feet, four inches, hitting ninth in today's lineup. And he was a third round pick back in 2009. Top of the third, no score. In the air to left center, Alcantara ranges to his right. No trouble here, puts it away for the out. And there's two down. Freddie Freeman up to the dish. Fly to right his first time. On the ground. Mervis oh. takes it himself, and that'll do it. Dodgers go down quietly, and we are still scoreless. And welcome back as we go to the last of the third. Stepping in, Kevin Alcantara. And a good fastball to start him off. That's strike one. Alcantara getting the start in center. Only 20 years old. And he was born in the Dominican Republic. Yeah, with two strikes here, you really want to miss outside the zone with that breaking ball. Cuts on it and misses. That's a strikeout. Couldn't catch up to the heater. No so the batting order turns over. Here's Nico Horner. 0 for 1 with a flyout. And first offering is fouled off. Here comes the 0 1. And he pumps it a strike. Pretty rare location right there, right down the middle. This guy paints the edges. I'm not sure if you're going to see that pitch again as a hitter. Next one misses. Going to count one and two. Right side. Whips it to first. And two straight set down to begin the bottom of the third. And up next for Chicago, Seiya Suzuki. That pitch in for a strike. It's 0 and 1. If I'm at the dish right now, I am aggressive over the heart of the plate. This guy's been filling up the strike zone, so you know you're going to get a good pitch to hit. And as nasty as his stuff is, you might as well take all three swings. Up the middle, and he knocks it down. On to first, and that is that. 
Nothing happening there for the Cubs. And we're still back here at Wrigley Field as we go to the top of the fourth. Shohei Otani up to the dish. The wind of the pitch. On the ground, right side. And he takes it himself for the out. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Let's the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. Swing and a base hit. Well, clearly he was ready to hit right there. Hooked around that pitch on the outside, but he was still able to square it up pretty nicely. And that takes quick, strong wrist to pull that off. One gone runner at first. Now here is J.D. Martinez. And he swings it for 100 games in 2018 and won it all. He was one of their top hitters and has had a really good stretch where he's been one of the top sluggers in baseball. Deceptive slider right there, stayed in the tunnel a long time, got that hitter out front, rolled over it, put it on the ground. And I think you could credit J.D. Martinez with a lot of the success that that offense had because he took things to another level in terms of his preparation. Kicks and fires. Foul ball, it stays nothing in two. Next offering is fouled back. Runner leads away at second. Fights that one away, and the count remains 0-2. Two outs, and one in scoring position. Popped up. Mervis under it. And the inning is over. So the Dodgers leave one, still no Ready to go, bottom four. So up now for Chicago, Cody Bellinger. Otani back to work. Swing and a miss, and it's 0-1. You know, these Cubs, as this game goes on, have to be more disciplined at the plate. They're chasing a lot of pitches outside the zone, and they Oh, can't pick it up cleanly. Christopher Morrell, the next Cub to hit. Scoreless here, but now he's got to deal with a guy who's got some power. Got to be careful when you're talking about a hitter with this type of slug and these type of home run totals. Bellinger gets his lead at first with nobody out. with two strikes may see some movement over there at first base trying to stay out of a double play here chopped in the ground one out in the bottom of the four now the third baseman Jamer Candelario he struck out swinging at his first at bat up the middle dives but it's off his glove not in time. He's safe. Dansby Swanson stands in. He's 0 for 1. Well, all eyes on the double play ball in this spot. No better way to get out of this inning. And it's fouled away. I think ultimately you want to tie him up, get the ball in on the plate so that he can't get the barrel to it and hit it to the outfield. And a pitch. Stays alive. First and third, one down. And down on strikes he goes. Huge strikeout there. Certainly a strikeout situation right there. The infield playing back, and this pitcher has to step up and get the swing and miss. Really nice job of attacking the hitter at the plate. Pretty big two out at bat coming up now. John Gomes grounded out his first time. There's a strike. Oh, he's looking great so far. It helps when over 80% of your first pitches are strikes. He might be able to go the distance if he keeps this up. 
And that one off the outside edge. Gets under it and pops it up. Betts is on the move. And that's a fair ball. And they'll score first. It's one zip. Puts a run on the board and picks up an RBI. He'll take those blue pits off the end of the bat all day long. It doesn't mean you put a great swing on it, but hitters deserve to get a lucky hit every now and then. Next to hit, Matt Mervis. Two outs, a couple of base runners at first and second. Oh, and two as he waves at that one. More and more guys are looking to slug regardless of the count, and this situation will keep a close eye on his approach. Goes down looking. But the RBI single pushes across a run. It's now 1-0. Back after this. Back here at the ballpark, and up to the plate is Will Smith. A wide to kick the pitch. Hit on the ground to Candelario. Throws across the diamond, and the leadoff man set down in their half of the fifth. Pull for one. First pitch swinging. These hitters are going to have to find a way to be a little more patient, see more pitches per at bat. Otherwise, that bullpen's not going to have to work over there, and it's going to be advantage pitching all game long. Fires over to first, and the first two set down on the top of the fifth. Good sinker low in the zone right there and produced exactly what he was looking for. Ball on the ground, nice ground out. Foul ball there. The 0-1. Bounce back to the mound. Swanson, now the throw to first on the run. And that is that. Dodgers down in order. Back here at the friendly confines. Bottom of the inning. So up now for Chicago, Kevin Alcantara. Swings and misses. That's strike one. Good eye in that spot. Swing and a miss. And it's one and two. In the air on the infield. Bush settles under it. One down. That was a good pitch to hit right down the heart of the plate. Had pretty good timing on it. Just got underneath it a little bit and popped it up. Corner at the plate now. That's ball one. Chris, it's always interesting to me to see a guy like Nico Horner, who wasn't drafted out of high school and then out of Stanford, was a first-round pick. That's some serious growth as a player. On the ground right side, Bush throws to first. Home half of the fifth inning, moving along two quick outs. Two outs, base is empty. And next for the Cubs, Seiya Suzuki. Pitch is in for a strike, going one. Yeah, especially with today, guys playing so much baseball all year oh, round. You get scouted and you get opportunities to be looked at way more than it was when I was growing up. Ah, that's strike three and the third out. So we take a break. Cubs are down quietly, but they lead it one to nothing. And welcome back. Start of the six, John Chambi with Chris Singleton. And leading off, Jake Marisnik. And he dodges that fastball. That's to third. Leadoff man retired in the sixth. Here comes Freddie Freeman up to hit. And he grounds one to the right side. The throw to first. Awesome play there. Here's a big power threat. Shohei Otani. Cruising on the mound right now, but a dangerous hitter here in this spot. A guy with some slug to him. Line drive. Fair ball. The throw in. And he's out. Cut down, and that ends the inning.
welcome back. There we go, bottom six. And up to the plate comes Cody Bellinger. And the right-hander back to work. That one catches the corner for a strike. Cody Bellinger, no stranger to the big stage. He played in the 2007 Little League World Series. He's the 14th player ever to play in both the Little League World Series and the Major League World Series. So now one and two. It really looks like these hitters have been in between with their timing today. Good fastball, excellent slider, but they've not been able to commit to one velocity and stay there. Christopher Morell will hit next. And first offering is fouled off. I always remember watching Johan Santana pitch, and when he was in his prime, you would see a lot of guys out in front, right-handers pulling that change up in the stands and then fouling the fastball, the opposite field, up into the stands. Puts it away for the out. Now batting, third baseman, Jason Candelario. Candelario in the box now. No balls and a strike. And strike two. No ball, two strikes. Here's the 0-2. Candelario checks his swing. Appeal down to third, and that's going to be ruled a swing. Three up, three down for the Cubs, but they're on top, 1-0. On the north side of Chicago, John Chambi and Chris Singleton digging in. Mookie Betts. Up the middle. Oh, look at the stop. Gathers and throws, but he beats it. Nice try defensively. Great hustle, and the tying run is on. And now J.D. Martinez outfield deep here, trying to prevent anything over their heads. Swing and a miss. 0-1. If you're a base runner, you've got to stay dialed in here. Look for anything in the dirt. Try your best to get into scoring position. And that's ripped for a base hit. Bellinger returns into the infield, and two on now as they try to rally here. Back-to-back -back base hits. That pretty much split the zone down the middle, and those are the ones where you've got to make them pay. Now a pretty big at-bat coming up with a chance to even this ball game up. Max Muncy at the dish. And first offering is fouled off. And he deals. Ripped to first, caught. And next for L.A., Will Smith. Rolled over to third. Candelario feeds to second. Out there. Double play. They can't seem to break through. Inning over. Well, we can never overstate it. Pitcher's best friend right there. Double play. Gets out of the jam. Saves some pitches. Here at Wrigley Field, and now Dansby Swanson. Otani back to work. That one's in there. Strike one. And a swing and a miss there. Tonight, his slider has been really impressive. I mean, tight spin. Seems like the hitters aren't picking it up out of the hand. Swing and a miss, and he is down on strikes for the third straight at bat. Well, they've had a great plan of attack for him tonight. I mean, finding all the holes in his swing and his approach, just frustrating for him up there. You strike out a guy three times in a game, I think that guy's got to go back and really study some video with his hitting coach, figure out how they're beating him, make this adjustment really quick, because word will get around the league in a hurry. And he'll two. Foul ball left side, he'll see another. Going two now. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. Back-to-back -back strikeouts to start the frame, and that's now three in a row. Yeah, he's really settling in and getting a feel for his pitches, throwing them where he wants to right now. So we'll see how long he can keep this streak going. Smith makes the grab, and that is that. And the Cubs are down in order. They lead it 1-0.
at the top of the eighth. Now at the plate, Ahmed Rosario. The pitch. Line drive, base hit. Went up there looking to be aggressive and got something he could handle. Just a solid swing right there. Got it out front and ripped it into the... A new pitcher in the game, Adbert Alzali. These are the spots where levers really make a name for themselves. Late and close. There's not much margin for error, but at the same time, there's a reason they're put in these situations. And a base hit right there. Lead runner holds up. They're at first and second with nobody out. Oh, you never like to cut it that close, but the hitting streak will live on at least another day. Little bit of a tense moment, Singy. Looked like that might be the end of it. I don't know. The way he's been going, his confidence must be sky high. So even if it takes until his last at bat, you get that sense that a hit's coming from this guy one way or another. Right-handed reliever. In the air, center field. Alcantara gets under it. Brings it in. Runner tagging for third. He's in there. So the lineup flips over. And at the plate for the Dodgers, Freddie Freeman. And that one fouled off. In the infield at the corners, don't be surprised to see them come home first and prevent that run from scoring. Into center, Alcantara makes his way towards it. Nice grab on the run. Runner tags from third. He scores. That's a big sacrifice fly. It's 1-1. Well, that's a quality at bat right there. You know the situation. You need something in the air and deep enough, and that's exactly what he did. Good pass to the baseball. And up next for Los Angeles, Shohei Otani. One for three. That one the other way, and makes the play, and that's out number three. A run on two hits, and they leave one. Ready for the bottom of the eighth, and now the center fielder, Kevin Alcantara. The pitch. There's a strike. This game has been so tight, feels like the next team to score will win it. Next offering is in for a strike. And he is just dialed in right Every pitch thrown with so much conviction. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. Just blown away in that at bat. Three fastballs, all strikes. He wasn't even able to foul one off. There's not much you can take away from an at bat like that as a hitter, other than maybe there's something wrong with your eyes. Got to have better timing on the fastball next time. You'll one. There's a strike. Oh, this guy's so comfortable hitting with two strikes. Even a good pitch early in the at-bat. If he's not ready to pull the trigger, he's not worried if he gets to an 0-2 count. Righty delivers. Really good slider. He's up there just hoping that it ends up off the plate away. In the air, out towards right center. Betts makes a nice running catch. And up next for Chicago, Seiya Suzuki. Sliced hard, but foul. To the right side, Bush. Tosses to first, and that will end the inning. Happening there. Having himself a really nice game at the plate. Solid swing from start to end. On time with everything. Really good balance. Nice extension. And he met it out front for the line drive knock. No outs. Runner at first. And next will be the cleanup hitter. J.D. Martinez. And that one is lifted in the air. Suzuki has a beat on it. Pulls it in. And there's one away. And now it's Max Muncy.
Now a screamer into the outfield. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. Two down. On the north side of Chicago, John Chambi and Chris Singleton. Here's the catcher, Will Smith. Bounced up the middle. Corner. To first. And they get the out on Smith. Here's Cody Bellinger. Brewstar Grotterol comes on now. He pitched yesterday and we'll see him once again. And the pitch. Swing and a ball popped up and it falls. And the leadoff man aboard. Well, that was an important at bat in this game, so a great job there stepping up to the challenge. With the way defenders track down balls these days, I mean, both from the infield and in the outfield, there really aren't a lot of base hits on balls hit like that, but there's always a little room back behind the first and second baseman to drop a long dart in there, and he found a way. And the right-hander deals, and a count one and two. Just missed. If he's able to connect on that, look out. The next offering misses. And the count's even at two. Way to lay off that pitch down. And now it's filled up. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Winning run on base at first. No outs. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. Swings and misses. Struck him out. So up now for Chicago, Jamer Candelario. Three-pitch strikeout last time up. Got to put up more of a fight in this one. Foul back our way, and that's out of play. One down, winning run on first. That misses, and that's ball one. Just missed. And a pitch. There's the swing and a miss. This guy's got such a good sinker. As a hitter, you've got to look up in the zone. If you look down, you're going to be chasing stuff in the dirt. Swings and misses. Struck him out. Gassed it right by him. Oh, interesting. He's looking very comfortable out of the stretch. After <laughs> Giving up the leadoff single. Back-to-back -back strikeouts, so they haven't been able to move that runner up, get him into scoring position, and try to have a better chance of scoring. I tell you, good job so far on the mound. He just needs one more out. Swanson in the box now takes strike one two outs but the winning run is at first next offering is in for a strike perhaps not quite ready to hit first two pitches by him for a couple of strikes now back is against the wall it's gonna have to figure something out and figure it out quickly the next pitch misses and that is ball one Kicks and deals. On the ground, right side. And that is the inning. One left for the Cubs. Score remains deadlocked at one. We're back in a new arm on the mound as we start extras. Keegan Thompson, Ahmed Rosario steps. 
to the plate for the Dodgers. And here it comes. That one drifts inside. Extra innings certainly had a different feel starting in 2020 with a new rule placing a runner on second to begin the inning. And that forced teams to rethink their strategy in extra frames. Yeah, much less margin for error and boob to your dismay. Goes to third for one. Now it's the second baseman, Michael Bush. Showed a really nice opposite field approach in his last at bat. Rosario runs. And first offering is fouled off. One away, tie game. Go ahead run stands at first. Oh, and two now. In the air, right side. In one hops off the wall, should be extra bases. Across is the runner from first. And a 2-1 ball game now. Not in time. He's safe. No, that at bat had a lot riding on it. Certainly a pivotal swing of the bat in this ball game. Put a very nice swing on that pitch right there. Got one to drive and just kept it fair down that right field line and into the corner. And it's almost impossible to track those down as an outfielder. Now, Jake Marisnik fouled back our way, and that's out of play. Here's your one. He swings and hits a fly ball, center field. Squeezes it. Runner tags for home. He scores on the sack fly, and they lead by two. Sometimes all you got to do is your job, and don't overcomplicate things. Keep it simple. Runner in third, less than two outs. Put the ball in play, and a nice job with the sack fly. New pitcher in the game for the Cubs, Tyler Duffy. He's being eased into the game here with the bases empty. Swang and a line drive. Base hit out of the center field. And that keeps the inning going. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. That's about as textbook as it gets. Got his stride and load out of the way early. He stayed inside that ball and squared it up out front. Man, that was like he was in the cage hitting off a tee. Now it's going to be in the air out to center. Tracks it down for the out. And the inning is over. They get two runs on three hits. No errors and one left. Victor Gonzalez gets handed the rock out of the pen. Now the Cubs catcher, Jan Gomes. The pitch. And that one just misses. A ball and no strikes. Movement in the bullpen. Mark Leiter Jr. preparing to come on if needed. There's a strike. As a pitcher, you know the runner on second is ready to push things with his speed. A base hit's probably going to be a big run, so you really have to execute on the mound. Swung on, belted. That's going back. Back some more. And it's into the bleachers. Out of here. Jan Golds hits one out. Third home run of the season, and we are tied. It's 3-3. Three, three. That was one of those home runs where you really don't know if he got enough of it off the bat. I mean, he put a good swing on it, clearly, but I wouldn't say he really got the sweet spot on the bat. The exit v law wasn't anything too impressive. Oh. And yeah, a big swing and a miss. This guy's sink has so much drop in it. It's almost like a split finger fastball. Instead of just weak contact and balls on the ground, he gets swings and misses. Two balls and a strike. Here it comes. Swings through that one for strike two. Swing and a miss. That's a strikeout. Slider got him for strike three. Here's the center fielder, Kevin Alcantara.
That one out to right. Betts pulls it down, and there's two away. Back to the top of the lineup, Nico Horner, the next to hit. First pitch doesn't find the zone. All tied up, and here in extra innings. This one lifted in the air, left field. And in one hops the wall. Now he turns and heads for second. And it's a two-out double to put the winning run aboard. Well, here we go. Winning run is on base with two away. Just a cookie down the middle. I mean, those are the ones you dream about. The ones in the cage, you're just hoping you get in the ball game. Right down the middle, not a whole lot of velocity right on top of it. Winning run in scoring position now, so a clutch A.B. could end this one. You'll want. And that's in for a strike. He's clearly out there throwing pitchers' pitches in this situation. First base is open. He walks him. No big deal. The pitch. And a swing and a miss. Good job at damage control right there. But two come across to score in the inning, courtesy of this. Two. Back here at Wrigley Field. And now the right fielder, Mookie Betts. The pitch. The extra innings rule placing a runner on second to begin the inning was a big move for baseball in 2020. So, Chris, how has that changed the way relievers approach these innings? Well, I don't think it's that much different from coming in to clean up someone else's mess. Definitely not ideal, but the best relievers welcome challenges like this. And Betts is gone. J.D. Martinez stands in, known for his late-inning heroics. Swing, and that's ripped towards right center. No one can get there. It falls in. The run scores from second. It's 4-3. Well, there you go. The RBI machine. Another clutch run. Unscoring it back. Yeah, he's been so good in these situations. Call it clutch if you want, but his resume speaks for itself. Here comes Max Muncy. That one laced to center and a base hit. Lead runner around second into third now. So runners at the corners and one out. Well, a swing like that can help you come out of the struggle. We saw the numbers coming into the ball game, but all he's trying to do at this point is help his team win. Calling for the intentional walk, and that loads up the bases. And the force play is now in order. So digging in, Ahmed Rosario. That one hit to right. And that'll fall for a base hit. The run scores from third. It's 5-3. Mark Leiter Jr. gets the ball now. Pretty tight game, so they're looking for quality. Pitches out of him right here. Got to do his best to keep the score right where it is. Now here is Michael Bush. All loaded up here in extra innings. The 01. At a swing and a line drive at a right field. Suzuki makes the grab. Two way down. And next for LA, Jake Marisnik. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing in one. 
Man, he really sells the changeup with that arm action. Next offering misses, and the count even one and one. Muncie on third. Smith over at second. Rosario at first, two out of the inning. Ground ball left side. Dives and he can't hang on. He doesn't have a play, and they get a run at home. Back to the top of the Dodgers order. Next to hit, Freddie Freeman. Good swing out of him last time. Ripped a liner in the center. Ground ball right side. Knocks it down. In comes the run from third to add on. It's seven to three. Shohei Otani steps to the plate for the Dodgers. That's a bullet, but it goes foul. Next offering is down low. And the count is one and one. All loaded up. We are in the 11th. Swings and misses. And the count one and two. Swings and lines a base hit into left field. In there safely. Stringing them together. That's three hits in a row. Nice job of driving that pitch the other way on a line. You know, hitters, they take so many reps in the cages working on going to the opposite field, and it doesn't always translate into the game, but right there it did, and he did it perfectly. Oh, what a stop. Goes to second with it, and that's a great play for the out. Great concentration to get that one started. He gets the force at second. Glove work at its finest. Now on the bump, Caleb Ferguson. Three, four. Five due up for the. Home team. Bellinger up to hit. The pitch. Swing and a miss. Strike one. At the belt and fires. Foul off the plate. They'll do it again. Man at second. On the ground to third. He is safe. And he beats the throw by a whisker. Well, from the time you're a little league. You're taught to hustle out of the box and give it a full sprint through the base regardless of how you hit it. And he didn't make great contact, but the effort was there, and he earns the base hit. That one missed. Next pitch just misses. Ball two. Didn't get the result he wanted, but that's a nice pitch right there. Got him swinging. Two on with one. One out. Jamer Candelario digs in now. And there's the strike. Well, in this situation with runners on, you got to get ahead in the count so that you can dictate the rest of the at bat. Nice job right there. Next offering is in for a strike. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. 
Good late cut for the strikeout there. There, that thing really got in on him. And, you know, the cutter isn't really a huge swing and miss pitch most of the time because it's not really meant to move a whole lot. You're just trying to miss the big part of the barrel and maybe get some weak contact. But that one right there did a whole lot more than that. That was a really good pitch. Throw to first, ball game. And the Dodgers take this one in a blowout. Well, I love the fact they didn't quit. They had to do a little extra work tonight to secure this win, but it's what you got to do over the course of a season if you want to be a championship ball club. 9-3, your final here in this one. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew, I'm John Chompy saying so long. Here now is our final line score tonight. First for the victorious Dodgers. Nine runs on 17 hits. One error they left.